In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to open .7z files. Now, there are different ways to do this on Android, but for this video, I'll be showing you how to do it using this app called Zarchiver. So I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can download the app. It will take you to the Play Store, and from there, you can install the app on your device. So after you install it, just tap it to open it, or tap the open button you see there. And then navigate to where you have the file. In most cases, you are going to have the file in your download folder, but I already created a folder called 7z files so i'm going to tap it to open it as you can see we have two files here they are both 7z files with memes this one has a password this one doesn't so we'll start with this one that doesn't have a password so to open the file you just need to tap on it and you're going to get all these options here i would recommend going for this one extract to this and as you can see a new folder has been created and it's going to have everything that this file has so if i tap on the folder you'll see all the memes in here so if you have a 7z file that has a password, then you're going to have to get the password from whoever sent it to you or wherever you downloaded it from because without the password, you will not be able to open the file. So for example, I'll tap this. I'll just tap view. As you can see, these are all the files inside. So if I want to view any of them, you'll see that um, it will ask me for the password. If you don't have the password, you will not be able to view the files. So I'll just cancel this. Okay, so I'm going to extract this now. Tap here, and I'll tap Extract. And now I have to impute the password. So I know the password. It's just 1234. I'll tap OK. As you can see, the folder has been extracted. If I tried using a wrong password, I'm just tapping random characters and tap OK. You'll see that it says Invalid Password. So make sure you have the password to the 7z file you wish to open all right so that's how you do it if you found the video helpful please give it a like and if you have questions you can leave them in the comments i'll be seeing you in the next video